Hey, what's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. This is a showcase video of a Nurgling army. So in each one of the uh, demons' kits, you get Nurglings included. Um, and so in the Plague Bearers box, there's like seven different Nurglings. In the Nurgling Swarm box, you get three um, like 40 mil bases of Nurglings, and then maybe like another five or six freestanding Nurglings. Um, and then in almost all the Chaos Demons kits, like the, the Nurgle Demons kits, you get special Nurglings that are included. So in the Great Unclean One kit, you get these two guys. Um, so it's the Sorcerer, and then there's like a Champion one, which is amazing. It's got a little cape and stuff. <laughs> um, and I've, I've seen a few people do it, like, not half-hearted, but, you know, like, really not go um, whole hog with a Nurgling army. And I've, I've had these sitting around for absolutely ages. And so I've been thinking about what you could do with them. Um, and you see people put them on individual bases. But because you get like one or two Nurglings in every kit, uh, near enough every kit anyway, I've been thinking, you know, I've been obsessing about it and thinking about like how many of them I could collect and stuff like that. And so I've managed to put together an army of Nurglings. So overall, um, I'm not sure how many in total, I could count them up. There's, there's 20 Warriors, guys. There's four Sludge Grubs from Blackstone Fortress, the Rogue Trader. Uh, is it Rogue? Wait. I think it might be Kill Team Rogue Trader, with the Galapox infected, obviously. There's the um, the Glitchlings, it's four of those. Um, we've got four Curse Mites that I've converted into like Riders, and I'll show you those in a second. Uh, and then three big guys, like double Nurglings, and one Nurgling from the Plague Drones kit, which is like on a little mini Plague Drone, which is awesome. And then the two, uh, this is the, the Sorcerer and Champion, and then the, my favourite one, we've got Sassy Nurgle, from a Plague Marine Champion, riding a flying zombie. <laughs> so, super cool. I'll show you them all individually, because you're going to be a slightly... I'm, I ramble at the best of times, you know what I mean? But this is going to be like a few minutes long. So, each one of the, the Nurglings from each one of the kits, um, I think you can probably... like the, They're not Warriors, they're just Nurglings, but I'll put them on separate bases. And in my head, even though your opponent would have to agree to it, I was thinking in my head about proxying these as Nurgle Demons. And so, for example, like the normal warrior guys, you could say that they were pox bringers or um, plague bearers for war and medieval, like for fantasy, say, say in uh, Age of Sigmar. Um, and out of the 20 Nurglings, uh, these ones, there's two of them that look like champions. So they've got cool maces. And I'm just going to make sure that they're focusing in. So, they, yeah, they've got little maces, so they'd be like the champions. Out of the 20 guys, two of them... Uh, there's this one you could you could clearly say is like a icon bearer <laughs> he's got a little maggot on a stick basically which is cool and there's another one of those where's that uh, there you go this one that I've converted to hold a very small bell so you could say he's a musician And then I think that's it actually, but there's just those two. So between like with the twenty guys, you could say that they're champions, you know, for like the play bearer champion and for the musician and standard bearer. And then just I mean, the problem you would have with the the thing is you would have a line of sight issue in that smaller miniatures are harder to, to see. So you'd have literally like line of sight issues and then also the base size issues. So the the pox these are twenty five mil bases and so the play bearers would be on thirty two. So there'd be the pro problems in close combat and things like that. But, you know, it, it just I think it would be just super fun to do it. Uh, and then the two champions. This guy will just be a sorcerer. So, like a Nurgle sorcerer. Um, I'm going to zoom in just on the centre so you can see. So, a nice scenic base, bit of height and everything. And then this comes from the Rotigus uh, kit. The Great Unclean one can be built in a few different ways. And uh, one of them is Rotigus, obviously, like the sorcerer guy. And so you get this one, which is pretty sweet. Really nice little miniature. Very small. Um, this guy, I guess it would just be a champion on a demonic mount. <laughs> um, again, it'd be a bit of a bit of a proxy. These the fl the the demons that are pulling him are from the Zinch. Um, the from the discs of Zinch. I think from the Zangor Enlightened from the uh, Age of Sigmar stuff. I think it's a Zangor, and they come with these like called discs. So them, and then this guy as well from the Great and Clean One box. He's like a champion, he's got a plague sword. Um, so I put him on these the higher base with some like cork um, and then some Nerg uh, plague bearer heads from the Games Workshop skull kit thing, the skull basing kit. Very nice, and then he's got a nice little cape, it's like epic cape. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and just, yeah, it's super cool. I've got this cheeky grim. And then, of course, Sassy Nurgle. Yeah, see, I think it would be like a... I think you would be able to get away saying it's a demonic mount. And just super cool. So, yeah, he's like flying. And I, I mounted him on like um It's a piece of very thin wire. So, perfectly steady. But the Sassy Nurgling itself, just so cool. Like hands on hips, you know what I mean? So, very nice. So, yeah, I think there's 20... Um, well, there's 20 warriors. So, they're from all sorts of different kits. Some from the Plague Swarm... But, Sorry, the Nurgling Swarms box. Some from the Plague Bearers box. Some from uh, th maybe even some from the Death Guard um, kits as well. But I've also mixed in some of their some of the very old, like the the metal third edition ones. So I can't tell whether that's lit properly or not. Just give me a second. Right, maybe that. Uh, yeah, so the, the metal ones, because these ones are absolutely tiny, so I put two on this one, one base. Um, but really nice, and they're, they're really characterful. This one, they seem to have an obsession with picking their noses. So, absolutely awesome. So this little dude. Uh, there's four of these in total, so this is one of the old ones as well. Um, like maggots and bits coming out. They're a bit stylistically different from the, the newer ones, but still cool. And this one, like a fly. With the uh, like the fly eyes on it, so yeah, mixed mixed all those in, and then some of them I've got these cool like uh, pillar bases, like rocky bases. So really nice, extra extra bit of height makes them fill the base out a little bit. So those are the the warrior guys. So like I said, I think it's twenty of those in total. So let's just move them out of the way. Uh, all these are painted as well with Death Guard green. Uh, Plague Bearer Flesh Contrast, or I think it's just called Plague Bearer Contrast, um, and then Nurgling Green highlighted. Yeah, so now we've got the Sludge Grubs from, uh, I think it is Rogue Trader actually, from Kill Team Rogue Trader. So, really, really nice. They're really characterful little things, um, like slimy bits on them. This one's eating someone's head, <laughs> which is kind of gross, but awesome. The second one is spitting like bile. Which is cool. Uh, there's one that's got about 50 eyes on it, which is this one. Really nice. So I did the eyes in red. Um, did it some like brown spikes on the back, and then this guy with like a red tongue. So I thought these would count as like uh, spawn of chaos, or like Nurgle beasts. I think it's beasts to Nurgle, something like that. Again, you. Would, I mean, it's a bit cheeky, but. <laughs> So next one we've got these big guys. So I don't know what these would count as, but these bases that I've got two of them on. So they could be like uh I don't really know. Again, maybe like beast of, beast of Nurgle, maybe. Or they could just count as Nurglings and use them as uh, plague bearers. So there's three of those, and then this guy comes from the not the plague drone kit, it's from the putrid blight king on Rotfly. So you get one in the box of two. So really nice, it's basically a Nurgling riding the back of like a tiny rot fly. <laughs> like a little plague drone, which is awesome. Then we've got the four glitchlings, again for the Galapox infected. So this this dude, I'm trying to get these all in focus. This dude, um, it was like splitting in two, which is awesome. We've got one holding a bottle. I'm not, again, I'm not sure what these would proxy as, I'm not quite sure. This one with a cool wooden sword. <laughs> in the pictures as well, they painted all the heads in silver, but I've done them in bronze for some reason. I'm not sure why I chose that. And this one's holding like hands full of guts, so super cool. Uh, and then my favourite ones, just to finish them off, are these curse mites. So the curse mites come again from from Rogue Trader, uh, and I've converted them to be like mounted cavalry, basically. So these Nurglings. Uh, I believe this one is from the Great and Clean one. I think he rides on the Great and Clean one somewhere. And yeah, I've, uh, I've used them as like as cavalry riders. So you could they'd be like plague drones. They'd be proxies plague drones. So this guy is riding backwards, which is cool. Um, and he's holding on to some guts, which is all green stuff. But super cool. So yeah, like little little plague drone guy. This one. Just eating his own entrails while flying along. <laughs> and then my favourite one is this dude who is barely hanging on. <laughs> so 
So, really nice. As like I said, it would be proper... It'd be cheeky, but it'd be a really fun game if somebody let you proxy this as like a Nurgle Demon's army. I'm just going to zoom my car a bit. Uh, there you go. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be proper cheeky if someone let you proxy it as a Nurgle Demon's army. And you would have to decide... Like, if these, these five could easily be Plague Drones. These three could be Nurglings, like Plague Bearers, Pox Walkers, or they could be, like, maybe even Beasts of Chaos. The Sludge Grubs would be Chaos Spawn, or Beasts beast of Nurgle. Um, then you've got a champion, maybe a Pox... Uh, is it Pox Bringer? Pox Walker? Pox Bringer? Like, the, the Nurgle champion guy, anyway. Um, a Sorcerer, and then the Sassy Nurgle on the thing. It could be, like, a Chaos Lord on on a mount, or something that looks like that. But you could you could pick... Um, and then all your warriors, like there's 20 I think, I'm just going to count them, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, yeah, so 20, and then if you count these as them, you'd have 23. So like loads and loads of different guys, um, and yeah, I think it would be really cool if you'd uh, proxy those as like Nurgle Demons. So that's pretty much it, there's loads of pictures on my Facebook and Instagram, which is at Powerhouse Miniatures, uh, and that's it, thanks for watching, cheers.